it's the city just kind of turns into a bit of a ghost town. I feel safe in the city during the day while it's busy, but I don't feel that safe in the city at night. Everyone has the right to feel safe, included and energised in their city after dark. Lighting isn't a city issue, it's a social issue. It's a universal challenge we need to overcome. As designers, we have the responsibility to make sure the people around the globe feel safe and connected in their cities. Lighting designers need to focus their attention on lighting spaces for people rather than just design code compliance. Nighttime environment actually influences people's behaviour in multiple shades. Often our cities are designed with a daytime lens only. Our cities are used 24 hours and by people with different needs and requirements. That's why we're working with our colleagues around the globe to change the way we design lighting. To create change, we needed an evidence-based, human-centric nighttime design process based on how people use and experience the space, not just design assumptions or compliance. We partnered with Monash University and Plan International to research and understand how lighting affects perceptions of safety in women and girls. Through community engagement, we listened to the voices of marginalised people from across the globe. We also conducted lighting design workshops with our community here in Melbourne to design the city that they want at night. So even you dry out the whole tree, but you're still not able to see the corner. Through the research, we found four key findings. Brighter doesn't mean safer. Once the level of brightness reaches a certain threshold, the glare from lights can start to feel unsafe. A multi-layered and holistic lighting approach can help people feel safer and more comfortable in their environment. The quality of light is more important than quantity, and our current lighting practices do not meet the needs of the full spectrum of society. The result is the Nighttime Vulnerability Assessment, which can be used in any city in the world to create more inclusive, energised and safe spaces. This evidence-based methodology creates a new opportunity for designers to look at our nighttime design from a very different angle. Instead of looking at standards that guide us, it listens to the people who use space, it takes on their stories, and it allows us to be empowered to make these changes knowing that we are doing it for the benefit of the people that use them. State government, local councils and developers in Australia see the value of this approach and are incorporating it into their projects. We're now in the process of creating a digital product so everyone can access our methodology globally. We're looking forward to using the Nighttime Vulnerability Assessment to bring about real social change and make our future cities accessible and safe for everyone.